I got sent this video a bunch of times and a lot of people took down their request for me to do this video. Maybe because they were afraid I was going to lecture them, which I am. You fuckers that have been telling me for years that we should blindly listen to certified professionals. All you Gen Z college guys that say that certified professionals know more than you, Frizzy. Well, I'm, and this video got 2.5 million views, so, which I'm happy. Oh, and look at that nice little sun in the, in the top right corner disguised as a map chart. Gotta love it. But, man, more, more situations like this need to come out, man. More situations where certified professionals not only being wrong and then double down on being wrong, more shit like that needs to go viral because some of you people just don't fucking get it, okay? No matter what training somebody goes to, no matter what certifications a person gets, they're still humans at the end of the day. To act like a human being is incapable of making a mistake because you've been trained to worship them since birth. Because you've been trained since you were a baby to believe that if somebody is a certified professional, they're infallible and they can do no wrong, that's stupid, retarded fucking logic. But society is training people that these certified professionals know more than your inner voice, know more than your natural instincts, completely ignore your gut feelings to trust these guys. That's why I said in the previous video, the new religion is science, okay? The, the, the scientific cloth, the certified professional strap, that's the new wizard's hat, and that's the new wizard's wardrobe, okay? Science is the new religion, certified professionals are the new god. And this blew up on the internet because people were finally seeing that their god is wrong. Their certified professionals are not infallible. And yes, when these people get proven wrong, because they have a god complex, because they're being worshipped by society, they're going to double down on their mistakes. You see this with police officers, you see this with doctors, you see this with lawyers, right? You see this with teachers. Now, let me say this. People got this misconception that just because a job says college degree required, people blindly believe that you need to have a college degree to get that job. When I was in school, I started school when I was three, pre-K when I was three, graduated that when I was four, and graduated high school when I was 17. So that's 12 years of school. In those 12 years, I saw many, many, many teachers that did not have college degrees. Now, how do they do that? Well, one of the secrets is you start off as a substitute teacher because a substitute teacher doesn't really have that many requirements. So once you get in, you play politics, right? And then you work your way up to getting promoted to a full teacher. You can do this even if you have no degree and you can actually start doing it fresh out of high school. You know, some of my coaches who were also teachers were 21 years old. So, you know, that's just one of the, the loopholes to, to the system, right? And I mean, because people don't understand that there's different ways you can get hired. Nepotism is more important than a college degree. It's more important than experience when it comes to getting a job. If your father is the CEO, you're probably going to get a job. If you're fucking the boss, you're probably going to get the job. If your best friends are in charge of the school, you're probably going to get the job. Even if you're under qual I mean, we had a sheriff's deputy in my ac academy class who did not meet any of the requirements, but her dad was a sheriff. Now, she wasn't a sheriff in the county she was going to be working in, but that's still a lot of pull, man. So the reason I'm saying this is because their best defense is to say that the teacher didn't have a college degree. Now, principal was an elected position of a position that he's voted into. So you don't have to be a teacher to be a principal. So their best defense is to say that the principal wasn't a teacher and that the teacher didn't have a college degree. Now that would still make them look bad because they would then have to justify why they hired this person 
if they don't have a degree, but they can at least say that the teacher wasn't properly educated to be an educator if they want to have a defense. If the teacher does have a college degree, then it just further proves my point, man, that, I mean, these people are graduating. These people are graduating, and they don't even know basic fucking math, yet we're supposed to trust them to educate our, but whatever. Let's watch the video now. So I just saw this on Reddit. And of course the fucking intelligent guy is Asian. Oh, I can't wait to finish my book. He says, my son's third grade teacher told my son that 1 divided by 0 is 0. I wrote her an email to tell her that it is not 0. She then doubled it down and cc the principal. The principal responded saying the teacher is correct. What do I do now? And if you want to see... This is something you learn in elementary school. You, you literally can't do this. What's one divided but like you're dividing you you literally you literally can't do this you literally can't do this <laughs> what are you dividing it by they want me that description for your convenience in this video i'm not going to talk about what we are going to suggest that parent to do because we just want to focus on the math especially i will show you guys my favorite way to convince people that one divided by zero is undefined, especially at a third grade level. So have a look. That's really Yeah, because you literally can't do it. If you try to take one and divide it by zero, you get into an infinite loop that can't ever be solved. The calculator, I think the calculators even, I mean, I think they say that. They don't say it like that, but like you said, I think even a calculator would tell you that it's either undefined or that you can't fucking do it. Division first. So let's say we are going to divide like this right here, like 8 divided by 2. I know the answer is 4 because 2 times 4 is equal to 8, but how do we work it out if this number is, you know, bigger? Well, we can do that. Of course, now he's going to try to act like we're as dumb as the fucking teacher. Well, some people are, but and teachers basic fucking math. That's the thing though, right? Some of the people that have tried arguing with me, arguing with me in the past, they don't even know how to do basic division. I had a chick come on to my stream once who I knew outside of YouTube, right? She tried to fucking say that I was wrong about everything, but she didn't even graduate high school. I don't even think she finished middle school, couldn't do basic division, was trying to tell people, but did that this is the thing too, man. It's the same with this college shit. You don't need to get A's in college to get your degree, contrary to popular belief, you know? So, my favorite. You put the first number inside, and then put the second number on the own side. Yeah? And then you ask yourself, 2 goes into... How ironic that when you're doing division, you're, you're kind of trapping the numbers in half of a box, so to speak. 8, how many times? And the answer is 4. 4, you put it here, and then times 2, it's 8. And then you subtract, 8 minus 8 is 0. This right here is the remainder. If the remainder is zero, you are done. Alright, I'm gonna speed this up, because I, I didn't come here to learn how to do basic fucking math. Alright, so if you have two divided by eight, what do we do? Again, put the two inside, and then put eight on the outside. This time, eight goes into two complex. Well, no, right, so zero complex. And then, go ahead and continue, because this is just a two. Put down the decimal, put down the decimal, and then put down the zero here, and then you put this as eight and one. Eight goes into two complex. Two complex, because two plus eight is sixteen. Because I, I wasn't going to listen to him explain basic math. That would have been a good lesson for some of you people, but nah. Well, is it possible for us to think about a number and it multiplies to zero and we get one? Can we do that? Can we say the answer is, let's say, 17? 17 times zero is what? Still zero, and if you subtract, one minus zero is one. It's still one. That's just this. We didn't do this is what I'm saying. You would get an infinite psych. You you can't do it. You literally can't do it. You you can't do it. Crazy, right? So, because of this, you see that 17 is not the answer. 
Mm, but if you try another number, let's say if you say zero, if you put zero times zero, it's zero. If minus one minus zero is one, this thing right here is still one. So in fact, no matter what you put down right here, multiply with zero, you always get zero. One minus zero is zero. No matter what you try, this will will never work. You cannot find a number multiplied with zero that will give you one. So in fact, one divided by zero here is, I don't like to use equal sign when I say undefined. This right here is undefined. Meaning there's no answer for this. In fact, when you have any number divided by zero, it's always going to be undefined. This is just computation. We're not doing calculus or whatnot, all right? Well, some people get mixed up with hmm, undefined or zero. I think the reason is because of this. If we have this question instead, zero divided by one. Well, long division, you put on the first number inside, put on the second number on the outside. In this case, can we do something? Yes. One goes into zero, zero times. Zero times one is zero. 0 minus 0 is 0. When you see the 0, this right here was the answer. 0 divided by 1 is 0. So definitely know the difference. Let's read some of the comments. It's This is the norm though, man. The only people that don't understand you shouldn't blindly listen to certified professionals are people that don't leave the house, clearly. Yeah, you literally learn this the first day you learn division. Yeah, and this happens a lot more than anybody wants to admit out loud. In school, there's usually like one or two brainy people. You know, that was me up until high school, because I stopped giving a fuck in high school, man. I, I, I realized these people were all fucking stupid, and I just stopped correcting the teachers, right? But there's always at least one brainy person in class that's correcting the teacher, the person that's paid to teach you, that's supposed to be an all-knowing certified professional, right? There's always at least one person in the class that has to correct the fucking teacher. Because these people don't know anything. So... I'm surprised she was fired, because usually you can't get these teachers fired. Wow, you're a fucking teacher, and you didn't even... Well, I think it's time to end the video. Read this shit. Blindly trust certified professionals? I'm done, man. I'm fucking done.